Today I want to talk to you about mental health in the workplace. There's five things I'm going to talk about. So as you know, you know, some bosses can be rude and rude. And welcome back to my channel thank you once again for joining in if you are a returning subscriber if you're new to my channel my name is Sharon I am a law graduate from the University of South Africa as well as a qualified paralegal who graduated from the South African law school now I just want to firstly start by saying a huge huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel I am so so grateful i cannot even believe i never even saw that i would be one day approaching 1000 subscribers so thank you thank you thank you everybody who has subscribed shared the channel and liked and commented so far i really really do appreciate you thank you so much everyone so recently i did a poll on my instagram wherein i asked you guys what you wanted to hear about or hear me speak about next on my channel and a lot of you opted for the managing of mental health this video is basically five things that one can do to help manage stress and help better their mental health in the work environment that I am trying to implement. Obviously, I'm not perfect, so it's a work in progress, but I really hope that we we'll work together in order to make sure that we implement these things, guys. The first one on my list is, it's easy, it's taking a break. <laughs> okay, it's not always so easy because you are probably in a very demanding environment and you rarely even have time to breathe but the it's very important to make sure that you take breaks and i'll tell you why taking breaks ensures that you prevent burnout burnout is very serious you don't even realize that you're burning out until you actually burn out so make sure that you take breaks even if it means um sitting at your desk and blocking out a few minutes in the day to just breathe um take deep breaths or even if it means getting up from your desk walking to the kitchen making yourself a cup of tea making sure that you you come back and you relax um you could also try taking walks to get some fresh air in lots of these things can assist you in making sure that you take a break it's always important guys i think it's 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 difficult because you often don't have time but you don't have time because you don't make time so make time to take a break the second one that i want to speak about is setting boundaries this one is slightly more difficult and is something that i am also working on because let's face it guys it's not easy to set boundaries with um employers or empl fellow employees or colleagues in the legal workspace it's important to set boundaries between your work life and your personal life because you don't want a situation where now your work life is eating into your personal life and you have zero energy for anything else that is not a very satisfying life so you want to make sure that you set boundaries and the way that you could do this is just communicating clearly with your colleagues on when you can work and when you cannot work um i'm also just trying to implement a situation whereby i try and block out my weekends to make sure that i'm spending family time with my family which is my husband i'm trying to make sure that I block out that kind of time. It's not always easy, um, but communication is key. Speak to your employer, speak to your employee, your fellow colleagues. It's important, guys, try and set boundaries. <laughs> it's difficult, but it's, it's doable. It's definitely doable, I promise you. The third one I want to speak about is seeking support. If you find yourself overwhelmed with the workload, if you find yourself stressed out, I know it's not easy to seek help. I know it's hard, guys. Like, believe me, I've been there, but the best way, the quickest way to learn something or to, to actually get over something is to ask for help. So if you are stressed out, if you're overwhelmed, go to, if you're a candidate attorney, go to your principal and ask them, hey, I'm struggling with this. Can I please have some help? Or if it's a bit difficult to approach your principal, maybe another attorney in the firm. I know I have an attorney, shout out to her, love you. Um, <laughs> I know I have an attorney where if I'm lost, like I'm completely lost, I go and ask her. You know, Obviously, if it's something I can, I can research, I'll research it first. But if it's something that I can't deal with on my own and that I've never done before, I go to her and I ask for help. And it's always been the same 
in all the firms that I've worked in, the quickest way to learn, the quickest way to, to get assistance is to actually ask for assistance. If you think you can just do things on your own, guys, you will get stressed out. You will get overwhelmed. And I've been there. It's not a nice place to be. It's, it's the pits, guys. <laughs> but ask for help. And even if it's not within the workplace, speak to your family members as well. Um, let them know that you're stressed out. Maybe they can also help in terms of that as well. And I know some companies actually have um, departments within them that you can approach for counseling purposes if, if the type of your help that you need is to just get over the, the stress that you're dealing with at that particular time. The fourth one that I want to speak about is the practice of self care. This one is very important and it's very hard to do, especially if you don't have time or if you don't break out time for yourself, it's very hard to practice self-care, but it's very important because when you practice self-care and by self-care, I'm talking about sleeping in on time, getting enough rest, guys, making sure that you regularly exercise. I know it's not easy and I'm not asking you guys to go out there and apply for gym memberships. That is not what I'm saying at all. Even if it's just, you know, a brisk walk in your, your garden or a brisk walk in your neighborhood or a brisk walk in the office park where you are, just take some time, make sure that you are self-regulating, you're self-caring for yourself because it's something that's very difficult to do, especially if we let time get away from us. Or even if it's not during the week, maybe it's the weekend, try and do something that you're actually caring for yourself. Um, I know, and I'm guilty of this myself, I don't eat healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think everybody who's in a fast-paced environment, if you don't plan out your meals, then you will struggle with um, eating junk food. And it's something that I've been guilty for. I know I know, my colleagues, if they were here, they'd be like, yeah, Mr. D, we hear you. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let's not go there. Just practice self-care. Eat, um, make sure you do eat healthy. Uh, try and sleep try and rest enough it's very important to take care of yourself guys if you want to be a productive human being and manage your mental health properly you have to be able to take care of yourself as well now the fifth one that i want to speak about is practicing stress management techniques um this topic or this method is actually a whole video on of itself but i'm just going to briefly break down a few stress management techniques that we could all implement in order to try and manage our stress better so that could be exercising that could be deep breathing um you know making sure that you do take some deep breaths regularly when you can um you could also try to journal a lot i know uh, it's it's not very widely practiced but i know a lot of people journal so if you keep a journal next to your bed or even if you keep a journal at the office just write down what you're feeling at that present time in terms of your stress um and just write out what you're feeling it helps you deal with things more realistically if that makes sense another one that you could also try is time management make sure that you put stuff in your diary make sure that you keep a to-do list make sure that you keep a task list that you're, you're you're currently doing so that you can just check 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 send an email to mr whoever check make sure that your time management is on point so that you avoid being overwhelmed and um avoid being stressed out at work as well Another uh, technique that you could try, also I've spoken about this in the previous four, is but speaking to your family. Speak to your family, someone who you trust, someone who would understand. Maybe, for me, it's always my sister. <laughs> so whenever I'm stressed, I go to my sister, shame, like I will, she will know about it. But, <laughs> but just try, try something that, try something that will help you relax, you know. But it's also key to remember, guys, that stress is different for everyone and Everyone deals with stress differently. So make sure that you approach the right avenues and do things bearing in mind that when you prioritize your mental health, you become a more productive individual. And I hope that this video has been helpful in maybe giving you some tools that you could use in order to manage your stress. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that some of the techniques and some of the tips that I shared will help you um just take it easy on yourself as well you're not guys remember you're not machines um take care of yourselves and if you are facing really bad like struggling very badly with 
mental health, it's important to seek professional help. This video by no means is a way to assist those who are facing really serious mental health conditions such as depression um, and the like, I really would advise that you seek the, the assistance that you need. I know that mental health is really demonized in the black community and you're seen as weak-minded if you try and even speak about it, but please guys, take care of yourselves, make sure that you, your cup is full before you can fill someone else. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. Once again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. Shout out to these subscribers over here. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. We're officially on the road to 1000 subbies and I'm so excited. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.